I do believe it is a Friday. Yes, it's definitely that Friday, which only means one thing. It's that Friday feeling. All of you are welcome to the Dad's Friday feeling. <laughs> and I'm a bit extra Friday feeling because if you've been following the series or videos and like, you know, week to week, you know I've been waiting for the MiG-29 to land. Ladies and gentlemen, it's landed. Yes, it has. And it's not in here because it can't fit. Well, it can, but it's just, you know, I'm not exactly slim. So, we'll sort that out. But today, we are back, as promised, on to uh, the Tiger Moth. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a lot of stuff during the week to suddenly, quickly show you. So, I'm going to kind of speed test it, uh, you know, speed video. Um, I have been working on the uh, F4F. Um, in, uh, just because I wanted to get, get it done. I was in two minds whether to show the video of that this week, but then again, I did promise we'd go on to the Tiger Moth and carry on building. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Hello. Welcome to the Tiger Moth. Mm. Close. Personal. Who is this guy that keeps interrupting me? Right, okay, we are loud and proud, and we have got the overcam shot. Oh yeah, the overcam shot of the aeroplane. Now what? Now I was hoping to get this done during the week so we can get onto some exciting stuff like wings and and bits and pieces. Um, but uh, I did do a, a mod which I'll go into a bit later on. Now, as you can see, if I get my um, get my pointy thing, if, <laughs> these are the holes that that get drilled for you. Um, and that's where you're meant to put them, um, which is uh, which is fair enough. Trouble is, they're in the wrong places. Now, as you can see, you've got um, I've got to, to push them out here because I can never remember which one it is. That is the elevator, one elevator, right? So an elevator pipe that I've trimmed down, elevator pipe, and then the rudder pipe. Now these three are meant to be over this side, according to the manual. So, which means I, I've got to move, um, I've got to move the uh, servos. So, you can see where well, I just screwed them in before. Um, that's um, uh, uh, obviously, oh god, he's left his phone on again. Okay, phone is off, I promise. <laughs> right, so I've got my servos now. Because of that, I'm going to have to use the round ones, which is going to be a lot easier anyway. So, I've put my uh, rubber shock absorbers, that I like to call them, and the little copper inserts. Now, I got some from Extreme Flight. I've got some servo, um, if I can get them in focus, I can, there you go. They're the hex bolt, hex screws for the servos, and that's from Extreme Flight, so I don't think they, they, they fit, the, oh, they do, look at that, they, they're the ones that fit. I prefer the hex than a, than a Phillips, because you can get a big, a better tight, it's not going to slip off and do random stuff. Now, I have got bits and pieces lying around here, so they're ready to rock and roll. Now, we've got this one here, now, this is, um, this comes off one servo. Um, so basically you've got the servo there and then you've got the two um, um, two push rods that go to either um, um, elevator. So there's two pipes and then and, and they go there. So we've got to put that in there. So we've got to cut that down and all sorts of stuff. And then we've got to put all our uh, stuff in. Now, if I can... Now it's going to be a bit weird actually because it's, it's, I, I need to see in here rather than you in the camera. But... We'll see how we go, and I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'd rather just speed it up and hey presto. Now, if you, if you, <laughs> excuse me, if um, if I get a, uh, there you go, let's get one of the small ones. Um, I'm not sure why I've got a small one with, with a, with a, well, kind of a metal clevis. Lovely though, eh? A nut on and everything. That's really sexy. I don't know why I've got one of those, unless it was meant for the, that was meant for um, the uh, the engine. Don't know, don't know. Anyway, it's probably spare now. So if I if I've got a rod coming out there, and then I've got that's going to belong in the middle, which is going to be there. All fingers and thumbs. This is to show you. It really is. That's going to be there, which means. Um, going to be in the middle which means I need to this needs to be over around about there I believe 
that's what I reckon which is way off the holes now this is the other one here so if I stick this in here you'll see where the rudder is that's where the rudder is going to place so the uh, elevator no lying to you the <laughs> the servo he says the servo needs to be quite quite near each other which is fine I suppose um, but you know this needs to this is gonna so this has got to be in line so if I'm gonna try and look at the screen of the camera because maybe that will uh, be easier to show let's get these things out of the way so that's got to be in kind of line there we have got these little and they are little there's a little stand off so if I can just put them in the palm of my hand there you go so there's a little grub screw that goes into the top and then this goes into the servo with a little little deeny nut um, so that, that that would be fine for that and then as I said this got to be quite close because this is going in between two so it's going to be there so you can see how close they really are which is fine but they're not the same holes so um, I think it'd probably be better if um, because you're not going to really see so I think rather than speeding it up and just adding uh, adding video um, let's just let's just stop the camera there and and let me build these quickly um, and then we can talk through it rather than going through one of them um, speedy things okay while we're here um, just before I um, put it all away and don't show you so uh, basically if I can get this into focus there we go we can these are in the manual, so we've got the small, um, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the name of these are, but they, they hold the push rod anyway. Then we've, got the, um, then we've got the washer and then a nut. Then what I've done, I've put some blue Loctite. If you can just see that, that might focus in if I can, there we go. Some, is it going to, yeah, uh, kind of, there you go. Some blue Loctite. Now I put it to the edge um, of, the, of the, you get like three, six holes at either end here, don't you? I, I drew a hole at either end anyway, um, as you probably can't see now, because it's, there you go. Um, and it was a 2.1 drill bit, millimetres, because um, you don't want to hold. So you tighten it up and then loosen it up a bit, because this does have to move. But you don't want it, so you put some Loctite, but blue Loctite um, will come off again, where red Loctite will be a... A nightmare to get off we might need to get off as i say i'll, I'll check these probably um after the first flight or before the first flight just to make sure they don't come loose it but i mean i could swap these for um a nylock nut that has a nylon in it to stop it from vibrating off um so but i don't have uh, nylocks that size but i might replace that with a nylock then you don't have to worry about it at, uh, at the end of flight you know it's going to be there anyway um, but yeah, so I've got one servo in as you can see um, I'm gonna put the other one in already So there you go. They're both in ready to rock and roll. They've both got the grub screws ready at the top um, As I say this will be the double up of the each of the elevators um, So I think at this time um, We'll see plenty of shots afterwards, but that's just got a tighten in there So that this will go uh, this is slightly longer. I've probably got the whole sort of round the wrong way there's holes here somewhere, there it is. So that's got to sit in there, and then we're gonna put the the three-way, well, hey, the three-way straight in the middle, which is gonna then drive both of the rods that come from the elevators, and then the rudders on its own. So I think what we'll do, we'll change camera positions so we can um, see me playing about and trying to stick it in. Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay, and back in the room. <laughs> and I've dropped something there. Well, right, before we go any further, uh, one of the subscribers, John, retired, um, uh, left us a message um, of what I could do to help. The oh, I'm on camera. Oh, yeah, I've got new glasses. Look, not my new teeth yet, but new glasses. I don't know if I like them. What do you think? Hmm. Um, what did he say? <laughs> yes, the cow. The cowling. Ooh, the cowling is uh, to stop the heat from burning through it on the actual um on the on the exhaust is to put some if i can see that silver foil now this is plumber's foil um which the it's somewhere over there cheap as chips so they use this the plumbers use this to to put it's like tape that they put around their uh um, pipes and stuff 
and you put that in and I just went a bit crazy with it in the end I've done it on this side and I've done it on that side and down there look at that and it's really really cool stuff and um, when you're peeling it off always wait until you get to the end though because it kind of tends to want to stick to itself and all sorts of fun but that sticks in there and that will reflect the heat and stop this from buckling so thanks John top man okay enough of that silly business let's let's play with lightsabers no let's not play with lightsabers let's stick some rods in shall we now these rods come very generous um, if that would be the uh, if that's on the on the uh, the clevis is on the control horn I'm remembering all these names now it's brilliant <laughs> yeah well Al, it's not up there is it if you can see that I've, I've done a big shot so you can see what's going on so the servos are actually here so I think if I for now cut it there that's just 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 uh, so if that's really 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 and if that's really 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 if you really 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 I reckon we can cut it there really 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 moment of truth now okay I've got this thing you know where people say always measure twice cut once so that will be on there uh, that is where that's going to be that rudders right back there and I'll tell you what we can always cut it afterwards so let's just go along there okay Whew. are you ready no don't do it oh it's too late too late it's gone it's not exactly how I can super glue it together is it now all three of these are long, it's great, really kind of them, so we do that the same, make sure that uh, they're, they're together at the same height, and we're going to cut, oh it's too late, and uh, have we got one more, oh no that's cut already isn't it, oh give me a heart attack then, I thought oh my god did I cut that one, it's a bit short, it's not going to be, oh, it's alright, it's okay, I think that's the one for the throttle for the engine that I didn't know I had. And it doesn't say in the manual either. Or it's something else that I missed and we'll find out later on. So always look at the manual. So without stabbing the rest of the planes up in the sky, we're going to go for the final final cut. I haven't got my teeth back in. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, it's too late. It's all over. So. So that's where... Oh, no. they're Not really. <laughs> Okay, it's there. So we're going to stick them up these holes. Now you've got like pipes that pop out um, that I need to, to glue. A little cap does go over it. They've got like, um, haven't got them to hand, but they're little caps that just CA glue on the side. Uh, I probably won't lose CA glue because my CA glue seems to run everywhere. So, But let's stick these up the hole. Um, and... out she comes so you're not you, you, you're gonna I'm kind of yeah it's one of them things where you're not really seeing what I'm doing which is really annoying and I can only apologize but if I tell you what I'm, you'll soon see in a minute it's just one of these things where I didn't I could I don't know don't worry it's through okay that's all we need to know now on these clevis I'm going to come around this side Get up and close. Right, let's get that in focus because, of course, it wants to be not in focus. There it goes. Right, okay. is that yeah? Mm -mm. On this here, they've got a little nut. Once again, we'll put some Loctite on this as well, some blue, so it doesn't rattle or move or twist or anything. It shouldn't do because it's held at this end and held that end. But you never know. So I I want to do that at, at middle. So you've got plenty of either way. So before. You'd start cutting and tightening. I already know these at middle because I already done it. But that's the little tipster. So I mean, I could probably do it this way. I'll tip it up in a minute. When we, when we let me just poke all these things through. So we got a nut. So if you can see the pipe that I'm coming through is, can you see it there? Which does this one. Now they've got them on there as the end, the the, the last hole, not the last hole, the first hole. Which is quite interesting. Um, so I'm going to. These are really nice as well. They just pull apart. And uh, he says, "Oh, get on there. Oh, I've got me nail underneath there. There we go. And they just kind of pinch together, even though they don't seem to want to go through the um, 
the uh, control horn. Oh, a little bit. Oh dear, yeah, okay. They don't want to go through that control horn. Uh, I don't think they're, they're, not, they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. So it looks like we might have to drill a hole a bit. If you see that, there. Yeah. It just doesn't want to go through that hole. Now, I swear that it's, it's fitting through it. But I don't think it is. I think I'm going to have to drill. Yes, it's time to cringe, because Chris has got the big boy. <laughs> oh, now they said that I'm really surprised that it's going to that bottom horn there. Okay, so if I do this really gently. There you go. I bet you I need to go another size up. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling. Woo! Copyright. Okay, let's, let's put that in. Is that going to go in now? Son of a sausage. No, okay. All right, okay, okay, you, you, you okay. This is when the, ah, get my finger. This is when the video turns out to be longer than it should do. And I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry if this is not exciting you. <laughs> the MiG-29 that's sitting in my living room is exciting me. Right, okay, two mil, two mil. We're going for gold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear, nearly drilled my finger. But it's alright, we're getting there. I don't know, can you see what, I, I think you can just see hands. Today I watched a video with people's hands and that's got, let's try to get, that's got in the middle. Of it. And it's, yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> These are all snapped together hard. I wonder if that hole at the top there you go! Woohoo! <laughs> it's in. Yep, and that's that's pretty good. It's not uh, wobbling about too much. <laughs> he says, "Oh, crash." Okay, so yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. No play in it, really. Is there any play? Nah, that's good. <laughs> Well, that was a bit mad. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get a, a nice shot in here. Um, to say, I, I really need to work out my camera things. I really do. But there you go. Hopefully, if I if I can zoom in a bit more, can I zoom in a bit more? There you go. Just a little bit. I need my pointy stick. And I'll just drop something on the floor. And it's probably like a major screw that you're never going to find again. Okay, so... <coughs> This one I stacked through and then I did cut it again after I um, tightened it up. Tightened? Tightened it up, yeah. These two, when you put this um, kind of three-way holder, um, a bush holder, whatever you like to call it, um, the, 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 both the elevators came right out here. So <clears throat> I cut them down to, uh, to quite short, as you can see, and then one rod goes straight through the middle nice and tight and it's as simple as that i mean once i got into it i mean i'm probably because i did it off camera that i felt a bit better um but but there you go now obviously we can i'm going to go through extra extra um adjustments on the tail and everything else but i thought well let's um let's just whiz this round and uh, plug it plug plug it in and see yeah there you go that's uh that's a that's a good spot to be i think what do you think yes right so let's plug one of these in if my little cable just about reaches literally just about reaches um, okay so I'm not sure what we're doing here I think it might be the elevators is it let's put it on uh, auto there you go like a whale ah! oh, whales don't make that noise what, what, what whales do my I don't know what whales make so there you go um, let's put it on uh, manual Obviously, we're not going to have them big uh, things, you know, you're probably looking at just that, aren't you? We'll work out the rates and everything else later on, but there you go. I mean, that's not, that's pretty straight. That's pretty straight. Let's put it in level. That's not bad. I need to get like a little ruler on there while I tighten them up. I'll probably have to get a help in hand. Probably one of my sons or something. Or oh, daughters, doesn't really matter, does it? 
Somebody, even my wife. She just comes in here and says, oh my God, another plane. Right, this one's not straight. I need to do it. In fact, I could just probably just tweak that right now while we're... Because I didn't... Uh, as I say, when you do straighten and put the servo on, so you know you're at centre position, and then tweak it. But as I say, I'm just going to tighten this. I will tweak this some more um, before I'm satisfied. So there you go. Is our is our everything? And when you think of if you look past back in the past videos, you know everything was kind of I glued the wrong way, CA glue, you name it. It was all the wrong way. But there you go, some full 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 stuff going on. I'm loving that, loving that. And there you go, straight as a die. It's not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. Alrighty, I just realised why I had a super shiny spam. Because I had my work lights on as well. I don't have my work lights on while I'm filming because it's it's too bright and causes lots of shadows. But um, but yeah, so I mean it was kind of a quick video on, on just putting in the um, servos. It was an important, um, and it's a couple of tips there about the drilling the holes. Um, maybe you can drill the holes before, if, you, if you're making it now, drill the holes before you put them on. Um, or really be unlike me and get a hobby drill, you know, one of them small ones, hand ones or something, that's all you need. Um, lucky enough I didn't go through the uh, fuselage. So the next up, we will carry on next week with the with the Tiger Moth and it will be definitely the wings. The wings are the next things to go on. Um, we might, I might, what I might do is, um, is uh, take some pictures, I think. And what I might do during the week, uh, if I get time, well I will get time, during the week is, um, put the uh, little bits and pieces that go over. I mean, we've got some bits that go over uh, the pipes that come out the side, you know, the little caps. They're just sticky on things. It's just to uh, glamorize it and make it look a lot nicer. Uh, the one thing that I can't do and we'll talk about is put the little, it's, uh, where are they? I don't think I've got, it's a happy yes, okay. is, uh is these things that fit around the wheels, uh, in fact, the landing gear. Um, why are you saying that I've got clips on it? Because I, they are, they're not very good. They've been cut out of a mould. They're just not good. I tried sticking together and shaping them and that's not happening. So my theory was, my theory was, and this would be like a later thing that I do, is if I fill this with expanding foam and then take it off, I've got more of these clips, I will have this here and then I can put a small slit in it, stick it on, spray it or something, and then I've got these. These go around the landing gear here. Not, you know, I mean, when, when you think about it, when you look at the Tiger Moth, the real Tiger I just noticed I'm on the P again. <laughs> we look at a real Tiger Moth, um, this is the, this landing gear is not the same anyway. Um, it's more like a, a Piper Cub landing gear, the real Tiger Moth. So, you know, do we need it? Do we not? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So, um, fantastic. Um, thanks for popping by and thanks for subscribers. Thanks for the tip, John, about the uh, silver foil inside the cowling to help dissipate the heat. Um, uh, there was a, a couple of more of you as well that uh, that um, that told me about bits and pieces um, that I will mention next week about. Uh, this has been constantly mentioning um, about uh, uh, about the build, and I will say my thank yous. Um, I think uh, Mr. Brooks, Mr. Brook, <laughs> Brooks, Brooks, Mr. Brooks, I believe. I do apologise if I said that wrong. He's been helping me and telling me about the, the fuel tank and also in the forum. So if you join our forum, you'd see all these little tips that uh, could help you as well. Uh, it's not always in the comments, but if do leave a comment. Please leave a comment um, in, in the video. And um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really helps. But until then, if you can, keep flying. If you are flying, please keep safe. Wear the old mask, two metres and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, have fun and thank you for popping by. Keep safe now. Bye-bye.